Hey, it's Brickzar, and today we're going to look at another vintage Lego train set. This is one of the easier to find train sets that is very old. It is set 171. It's just a small push train. Now, I really didn't give this train set a name. It's just a um, train set without motor. <laughs> uh, it's it's a little train with a little like tank engine locomotive and it's got three cars a uh, type of gondola or flat car it's got a tipper car and a flat car with like a wood load or something so that's all there is to it it's just a push train it does have uh, in the instructions a way to convert it to a battery power train and again this is from 1972 so it would be the blue track arrows, and they give you a circle of the blue track here. And so it's just a really simple train. It's one of the more common ones uh, uh, that are over 40 years old like this. Uh, and it's relatively still inexpensive. Um, and it's a real simple build. I mean, if it, this, would, this is for like really young kids. So let me show you uh, some other things you get. It comes in a box uh, like this. Set 171. It's kind of a dark green. It's kind of faded over the years. It's got a lot of wear to it. But if we open it up, the lid, there was a place to put these were where the, um, the bases for the cars went and then the locomotive base there. And then the other parts would go there. And it shows you everything right there. And it came with a sticker sheet. I actually had to use one of the stickers. The locomotive uses three of the stickers. I was missing a sticker, so there should actually be one sticker left on there, but I was missing a sticker. And on the instruction manual, it shows you how to convert it to a motorized train using the battery car, which is set 161, and the motor, which is set 103. But I'm not going to do that in this video. Um, I got a defect. One of the cars is defective on this set that I got. But the locomotive is a real simple build. In fact, they made a lot of locomotives very similar to this in the early 70s. Um, set 126, set 117, or some others. Just got a simple uh, build to it. But this one comes with a base. And what you do, basically, to convert it to a motor, you got to take this part out, and then the motor just plop right in there. Actually, I said I wasn't going to do it. I got a motor handy. Hold on. All right. So basically, this is like a motor. You got two different types of motors. One's taller than the other, and I think this is actually designed. Stay in focus for this. So you would just pop it up in there, like so, and then it's ready to be motorized. And the little plugs are right there, are still are visible through here. Nope, they're not. I have to do another conversion to get the power to come out of there. Let's see what the instructions say. Yeah, doesn't really show you how to get it through there. Might have to remove another brick. You'd have to remove this one by four that's right there. But it's a pretty simple conversion uh, to convert it to a motorized train. But it had to have the battery car behind it um, in order to power it. And this has the red magnet here. And then these are oriented north and south. They don't rotate around like modern magnets do. And this little gondola car is real simple. It's just uh, some bricks and these little gates. Now, one, these one by three gates are pretty... Um, special. They're not totally rare, but they're more rare than the one by four gates. That one's real loose. But this wheel, somebody apparently stepped on this at some point, so the uh, axle got bent for this wheel. Or that, uh, yeah, the wheel, whatever. And then here's another tipper. They seem to like making a lot of tipper wagons. This is with the red one with the pins, but basically six pieces there and then one two three four five pieces so 11 pieces plus the base <laughs> to build that nothing to that 
And then this is an even simpler build. It's just a couple of two by what, 10 bricks and then some bricks over it. And that's all there is to it. It's one of the simplest to build uh, trains. But that's all there is to it. And they just give you this little circle of track. I'm sure it provided minutes of fun uh, for a kid. But then again, this is the early days of Lego trains, so it was uh, special to have some type of train. Anyway, I just thought I'd take a look at a very old Lego train set, set 171. It's from 1972. It's train set without motor. Thanks for watching this video. This is Brickstar.